McGraw has worked extremely hard over the years, so you can't blame him for wanting to relax in a multi-million dollar home. The iconic TV show host is the owner of a luxurious Alamo style mansion where he currently lives with his longtime wife, Robin McGraw. This massive estate in Beverly Hills ran Dr. Phil almost $30 million, but it offers more privacy than one can usually find in overcrowded Los Angeles. We'll take a look at this not so humble abode, all the crazy decorations he's got in this mansion, and uh, some of the other properties that he's owned in the past. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Philip Calvin McGraw, known to us all as Dr. Phil, is a TV personality, author, and host of the television show Dr. Phil. The show draws on 25 years of experience in psychology, sociology, and observation. He holds a doctorate in clinical psychology, but ceased to renew his license to practice psychological therapy in 2006. But I mean, when you're doing as well as Dr. Phil is, who has time for that anyways? I've actually met Dr. Phil. I was once upon a time on the Dr. Phil show, and the guy is a genius. Like, he was the best TV host I've ever seen. You judge me, can you tell me? yourself under a magnifying glass. Everything you put your name to, everything you say, you're yeah. firing back, and the trail you're leaving so much for people to just work with. I kinda wanna be Dr. Phil, I should've got more education. <laughs> She's my Dr. Phil, just, just letting you know. McGraw rose to fame with appearances on the Oprah Winfrey show in the late 1990s where he was the resident expert on human behavior and then Oprah helped him launch his own TV program. Dr. Phil aired in September 2002, is formatted as an advice show and has been going strong since. Dr. Phil continues to deal with real issues in his signature blunt style. In October 2003, he launched the Dr. Phil Foundation which funds organizations that help disadvantaged families and their children. Now Dr. Phil and his wife Robin McGraw, they've been married for over 30 years years and she's a New York Times best-selling author herself. Now it's said that the McGraws, they have a current estimated net worth of $460 million. So it makes sense that the couple, well, they're able to drop a casual $29 million or more on the place that they currently call home. Not to mention, they've also spared some millions on homes for others, like when they bought their adult son Jordan a lavish pad or two. But I'll get into that shortly. Hey guys, it's Kara. And I'm Michael McCrudden. Now, if some of you guys don't know who I am, well, I'm actually Kara's boyfriend. And I'm kind of your boss. Yeah. Both. Awkward. <laughs> but we work together, we work on many YouTube channels, and we're having a lot of fun doing this. And huge congrats to Kara because she's absolutely blown up. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this channel, you gotta do it because we noticed that 95% of you, you're not even subscribed. So get that done, and I'm gonna let Kara finish this video. Bye, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, I cut you off. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'd kiss you, but that'd be awkward. I'm just gonna go. Okay, bye. <laughs> Today we'll be looking at a few beautiful homes owned by Dr. Phil McGraw and his wife Robin, including their current Beverly Hills estate. We've also done house tours and likes of Howard Stern and Joe Rogan and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Take a look at Dr. Phil's previous home. In 2010, it was reported that the McGraws put their Mediterranean villa in Beverly Hills on the market for $16.5 million, just before they upgraded to their current digs. Property records reveal that Dr. Phil purchased this home in the 90210 hood back in 2002 for $7.5 million in cash. While his ding info didn't show square footage of the home, the tax man shows it measures over 11,000 square feet and sits on a lot nearly three quarters of an acre. Dr. Phil's previous home was in a prime location just north north of Sunset Boulevard and was completely walled and gated for celeb style privacy. The masterpiece mansion offered 8 beds and 7 baths, as well as a generous sized public rooms and designer finishings throughout. Elsewhere on the property, there was a detached 2 bedroom guest house for some extra space. Walking in, there's a glamorous two-story rotunda entry hall with diamond patterned stone floors and a sweeping dual staircase for making dramatic entrances and exits. Nearby, you'll find a luxe looking great room with Juliet balconies and an ornate chandelier. And another living room with fireplace. And those are just a few of the many rooms in this mansion. Other amenities include a formal dining room, library, family room, colossal kitchen, and a half circle shaped breakfast room with mirrored walls. There's also a billiard 
Spirits Room, Home Theater, Fitness Center, Media Room, his and hers offices, staff quarters, beauty boutique, and three fireplaces throughout. Not to mention, Dr. Phil and Robin were able to share a lavish master retreat with sitting area, private balcony, two baths, and custom fitted dressing rooms. A wide dining terrace extends off the back of the house with an outdoor fireplace and media center for watching TV outside. A pathway leads to the large swimming pool and raised circular spa. In the end, the McGraws had to adjust the price but ended up letting go of this mansion for closer to $13 million. The TV shrink hadn't even sold his old house yet before closing on his current one, located on three acres of hilltop land in Beverly Hills overlooking their former house. Apparently the celebrity couple had their eye on the massive home for a while and jumped on it when it came to the market. It's still the mega mansion where Dr. Phil and Robin live to this day. The luxurious Alamo style mansion boasts around 15,000 square feet, not including the separate guest house out back, as well as five beds, nine full baths, and two half baths. Dr. Phil and Robin loved the home so much they were willing to spend a whopping 29.5 million on it, but it is quite impressive to say the least. The house resembles a romantic European villa out front, complete with a fountain and boasts a terracotta roof, wrought iron balconies, grand columns, and white paint. While there weren't many listing photos circling online of the very privately situated property, we've also been able to catch glimpses from Dr. Phil and Robin themselves. There's a two-story entrance hall with sweeping stairs, a formal dining room, library, games room, and a kitchen family room complex. If the couple's previous estate is anything to go by, Mrs. McGraw likely decorated to her heart's content with glittery touches and Tuscan extravagance. Since they've been spending a lot of time at home during the ongoing pandemic, Dr. Phil has shown fans a glimpse of his home office, captioning it, My desk during quarantine. I grew up with a chalkboard. Times they are changing. His classy office also boasts a fireplace and wall mounted TV. The living room is grand with vaulted ceilings, gorgeous wood beams, modern decor, and dark finishings. There's also couch space for the couple to unwind with their dogs. Among the multiple living areas, it seems the family loves to spend time in this spacious kitchen cooking together, which is fitted with the best appliances. There's also marble countertops, a massive island, and bar style seating. All four of the family bedrooms are located on the second floor with their own bathroom, and the master suite that Dr. Phil and Robin share has dual baths, a private sitting room, and a terrace. The property offers some of the best views of Los Angeles, and outside, the space is just as nice. There's a covered lounge with outdoor fireplace, vaulted ceiling, and terracotta tile floors, which runs along the back of the house, leading to the flat lawn. By the looks of his Instagram, Dr. Phil likes spending time playing at the full-size and lighted tennis court they have. Not to mention, there's a swimming pool and panoramic city lights view back here. The couple also loves decorating for the holidays, so now that Halloween is over, we'll see what Robin throws together for Christmas at their mega mansion. Before we wrap up this video, let's take a look at the home that Dr. Phil owned but never lived in. Early this year, mansion in Beverly Hills went up for sale for $5.7 million, where Dr. Phil's rocker son Jordan McGraw had been living with his bandmates, and the place was quite an eyeful. Part playhouse, part Tim Burton inspired, this outrageous and expensive design sparked some controversy on the web. Ever since listing photos were published, social media went to town poking fun at the unconventional designs that only a 20-something year old with unlimited funds could have dreamed up. I gotta say, I do like these weird interiors. In summer 2016, a then 28 year old Jordan offered the Daily Mail a tour of the estate and said, The idea is kind of Tim Burton threw up on a canvas and turned it into a house. Black velvet wallpaper aside, the 6,170 square foot estate sits on a gated half acre just minutes from the Beverly Hills Hotel and offers five bedrooms. It's quite the home, and if you can't get behind the designs like me, there's definite remodel potential. Jordan dreamed up the wild wonder land with the help of LA design for Mogul. As you enter the property, there's a snake fountain, a reference to A Nightmare Before Christmas, giving guests just a hint of the trip to come. In the entry hall, there's a bedazzled bar at the bottom of the entry, which is meant to look like the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. And the showstopper, the jaw-dropping glassed-in walls of guns in the dining room. While this modern estate isn't for everyone, I would totally live here. What about you guys? So now we've taken a look at the homes of Dr. Phil McGraw and his wife Robin, and even one that once belonged to his son Jordan. After seeing the three Beverly Hills properties, which was your fave? The couple's current sprawling $29 million plus home, their previous 
this one? Honestly, don't judge me, but my fave was actually the last home his son lived in. It's way more my style. And nobody would have an estate anything like it. And plus, I'm also a Tim Burton fan, so if the shoe fits. Be sure to rate Dr. Phil's homes in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel. I post a video every Sunday and I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs. We'll link you my latest video. He was inside, but he kept falling and horrifying the dogs as well. So he's out here for a timeout right now. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity houses you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.